Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on my little pumpkin project. Um, they usually have these every year at the Dollar Tree. Um, these I actually had left over from last year that I never got around to because I get all this stuff and the season just goes by so fast that I just don't seem to get everything done that I want to do. But anyway, I want to make a cute little decoration with this. Um, we're going to paint it because I'm not crazy about this bright, shiny orange, so I'm going to tone that down a little bit with some of uh, the Craft Smart orange paint and brown. This is called Pure Pumpkin, and this one is just called Brown. <clears throat> and then I have some leaves and things that I want to put in here, and this is Styrofoam, um, so you can just poke things right in here that you want to decorate it with. So I'm going to use some of these leaves and things that I got from the Dollar Tree with these nice berries on them. I want to use some of the mini mums on here, and I might add a few more little leaves and maybe a couple of these acorns. We'll see as we go along here. And then I have this um, little owl. These are actually salt and pepper shakers. Uh, they had these last year, too. They have them again this year, and they have them with the owls. They have the squirrels, and there's something else. I don't remember what other one it was that they had. So, the first thing I want to do is paint this pumpkin a little bit of more of a burnt orange color. So I'm just going to use one of my little candle holders here to mix my paint in. So I'm going to need a little bit more this time. So, add some of this orange paint and some of the brown. And I don't add a lot of brown, just maybe, I don't know. Well, that came out a little faster, but it's like three or four big drops of the brown just to tone down the orange and make it a nicer color. These are really shiny and really, you know, like a high gloss bright orange. I'm sure you guys have all seen them at the Dollar Tree. So then get more of a, more of a muted orange, if you will. Actually, I might just add just a tiny bit more of the brown to that. So I don't want it real brown, but... You can just mess around. They just start out with a little bit and then, you know, add a little more as you need it. Alright, I think that'll be good. And it won't be shiny. And these are just like little uh, shish kebab sticks. I like to use these for all kinds of stuff in my craft room. I just wipe it off and use them over again. So I'm going to do it with a brush. You could do it with a sponge brush or whatever. And I'm just going to leave, I'm going to actually take this off before we decorate it, but I figured it would be good to hold on to it while I'm painting here near the bottom. So yeah, I like that color a lot better. It's more of a muted orange. So I'm just going to give this a couple coats. We'll see. I may only need one. It depends on how it looks when it dries, because some of it soaks in since it's styrofoam, even though it's already painted. And you don't have to paint the top part, because we're going to cover that up with all kinds of little things from the Dollar Tree here with our leaves and our little owl and flowers and whatnot. And I actually might go in here in between the lines with maybe a little bit, make this even a little bit darker after it dries and see how that looks. It may just add a little dimension to this little baby. I always see these pumpkins there and, and I just, I don't know. I mean, they're probably great to just as they are for like Halloween or whatever, but I'm not crazy about this color. And you don't have to do the bottom. You can if you want to. Um, but I'm not going to bother doing the bottom. They're putting this on pretty thick, too, so we'll see how it looks. But I have a feeling I'm going to have to do another coat on here.
doing all these little holes and things that want to bubble up on me. But we'll see. Alright, so that is our first coat on here. And if I need another coat, I'm just going to throw that on there. I'm not going to make you guys watch me paint this over again. But yeah, I like that color a lot better. So I'll make sure I don't have any, because I have, I just tend to uh, kind of slop the paint on it first and then just kind of go over it. Not the neatest painter on the planet, but <laughs> it all works out. All right, so there. <clears throat> all right, so I'm just going to set this aside here, and I'm going to let it dry up real good, and then we'll come back and we can start decorating it. Okay, it's all dried up now. I just did the one coat, and I think it came out fine. I did add a couple more drops of brown to the orange, and I just took a paintbrush and put it down through here, and my really um, professional technique here is I just kind of slide my finger through it, just so it, you don't see like brush marks or whatever. So that is all painted up and dried. Get this out of my way. Now, hopefully this is going to come out nice and easy for me. Yeah, it did. Okay. So that is where our owl's going to sit. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Now for the owl, what I did, what did I do with my other little stick? I don't know. Is I, it has a little stopper on the bottom, so I hot glued that in there because I want to put a little piece of one of these um, shish kebab sticks, or you could use anything you want. You could use a piece of the flower stem you could cut off and use, because we're going to cut these little flowers all off and what's left. You could use that too, but I'm just going to take a piece of this, and um, hopefully I made that long enough, yes. And I made a hole in the bottom of the little stopper, I'm just going to hopefully find that hole, there we go, just to give it a little more stability. I am going to hot glue it on here too, but I'm going to poke it right down through the uh, pumpkin. So, of course, I'm out of hot glue. There. All right. So. And I always use a ton of hot glue on everything because I'm always afraid it's going to come off. So, I'm not going to I'm not going to put it back in the hole that it was in, but I'm going to stick it right down here. And you want to kind of keep this guy centered because these things are really light. I mean, you could always put some stones down in there if you wanted to cut a hole and uh, do that to make it a little more weighted on the bottom, but you know, especially if you have like cats or stuff that's going to be running around them, like I may, we'll see, because sometimes my cats don't like my little flower arrangements. They feel the need to pop all the flowers off and chase them around the house. But. I think I'll put this little guy up on a shelf and he'll be fine. So now I'm going to take some of the flower stems here and cut these off. And what I'm going to do with these is I'm actually going to bend the end of it like this so it goes down in here because I don't want it to stick straight up. You just got to figure out how long you want it. So I'm just going to bend it like that. That way see which way my flowers are going nice here, or leaves rather. And I'm just going to stick that right down in here next to the little owl. I may add a little bit of hot glue to that because I think it's going to pop back out if I don't. So, And I like these little berries. They're really cute on these um, leaf stems from the Dollar Tree. I didn't find a lot of nice picks this year for fall. They had a few, but things on it, this one I have, just that's just too big for this project. But I like tearing those apart too. Alright, so I'm going to bend this one down too. Stick that right in here. 
See, so it lays kind of flat. And then a little bit, of, ugh, little bit more hot glue on here. Just to make sure that doesn't pop out on me. And then, let's see, I think I want a couple more, one for the front and one for the back. I think the one on the back is not going to have any berries because I think they're missing off of one of these. That's another thing when you get these at the Dollar Tree. They're so jammed into those things that if you don't really watch, you may end up with one that's missing a bunch of flowers. This one I think I'll put right here in the front. And I don't want to cover up my little owl. These leaves are actually maybe a tiny bit too big too, but these were smaller than some of the other bunches that they had. All right. Let me get a bunch of these leaves for the back. Yeah, this one doesn't have the berries, but maybe they all didn't. I'm not sure, but that's all right. There we go. Now, in between here, I think I may put a little bit of moss in here just so you're not seeing so much of the pumpkin, because I don't want to add a ton of stuff to this, because I don't want to hide this little guy too much. So let me grab... A little bag. I like the Spanish moss for this kind of fall project, because it's kind of darker. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this and just kind of wrap it around there a little bit. I didn't think I was going to want to do this, but I think in order to cover that up, I would have to add too much stuff. Too much stuff to cover up the orange of the pumpkin up top. All right, and I do love working with this Spanish moss. And then whatever's hanging over that, you know, you just trim that off when you're done. I'm gonna put just a little bit more towards the back of them there. Just have these leaves sticking out. All right. So now I'm going to add my little mums. Now with these, I also tore these all apart because they just stick in a full bunch here so I can show you. Um, I like to have them with the leaves, but these things just stick up way too high. So what I did was I just popped off the mums. And then this is just all plastic, but you don't want to take this piece off because that's what holds your leaves on. So I just trimmed that off. And I trim off this little thing on the back of my mom. And then just, um, let's see, cut that off. And I leave about an inch and a half, two inches. And then I'm just going to take my mums and glue them back down on there. That way they were not sticking up too far. I'll just put a couple of those right back in there. Just like that. So then you have your mums and your leaves. And I think that'll look cute. I'm not going to put any with the leaves on it in front of them here. I'm just going to put this one on the side. Let me use one that's already cooled off here. I did make three of those little bunches like that. So I'll put that little bunch there. My other cooled one here. I'm going to keep the big leaf down, you know, towards the other leaves here so it's not sticking up too much. 
that one there. Oh, look how sweet. I love this owl. I absolutely love this owl. Um, I used one last year, I think, in a DIY, too, because I don't have my pepper one or salt one. This might be the pepper one because it has some more holes. And then I'm just going to put another bunch in the back. Now this one I may keep the leaf up. And then when you're done you can just arrange everything. These are all wired um, so you can kind of move them around a little bit. And now in the front here I'm just going to add one of these or maybe two, we'll see, at least acorns from the Dollar Tree. And let's see. Actually, I may just use one. I don't like the way it looks with the two. But that is totally up to you. Lay that little acorn right there in front of the owl. And that is it. That is all I'm going to do to this little guy. I'll just glue on top of this. I'm afraid to pull it off because it's going to pull off the color. That's all right. Maybe I'll just pull that off and replace it with a different one. I didn't notice that this had a big lump of glue on the top of it from where the top of the acorn was glued together. Let me grab another one here. Yeah, see a lot of them have the glue sticking out. Alright, so that'll be on the bottom. And that is it. That is just so easy. You could make these as gifts for someone or take them to, you know, for Thanksgiving, whatever just to make someone's day. I think he's real cute. Let me clean this mess up here. I'm going to set him up with some fall things and we can see how cute he came out. All right everyone, there it is all cleaned up. I stuck a couple of these little pumpkins and gourds that I had from the Dollar Tree just around it there to give you an idea of how nice that would look as you know in a fall decoration. Isn't he cute? I love that owl. He is just so cute. I don't know where my other one is. I'm going to have to look for him. And then I do like the color now of the pumpkin. I really didn't like these pumpkins. I wasn't going to get them last year, but I got them. i figure, oh, figure something out, but yeah. So there you go. That's why I don't ever throw anything away. Because eventually I use it for something, and I think it turned out great. I do like the color of it now. Uh, it's not so bright, shiny orange. But that was my little project for today. It was super easy, super quick to make. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day, everyone.